Alright, let's head back to your basket. Don't pay me. What time is it? It's almost, four, almost three in the morning. It says like four, but it's three. And then right here, uh, that right there that's behind the tomb, that's a graveyard. And you remember that headless horseman we saw on the road? Well, around this time, around 2 30 in the morning, that's when he goes out and starts riding along the road. And if you follow him, he actually goes to that graveyard. Should join the town guard. When it comes to the town guard DLC, I mean, I would make a really good vampire hunter, and it would benefit Skyrim a lot better if I killed the monsters instead of joining them. Being a vampire lord is just so cool. And fun. Way more fun than being a, a vampire hunter. I don't know. I'll think about it. I'm not starting a Dongo DLC until after I'm done with the companion storyline anyway, so it give me time to think. Of course your guys' opinion would help greatly. So I'm still debating over it. Fergus is there. He's wearing heavy armor, so he's a little slower than I am. Ooh, are you? 
I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. It's from Falk Firebeard at the Blue Palace. Ooh, you've got friends in high places. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Well, I've been waiting for this letter. It's about time I got here. Uh, Rose, over the last few days, we've had some disturbing information come to light regarding the events at Wolf Skull Cave and the summoning binding ritual you interrupted there. Uh, given your involvement with the event, I'm asking you to return to Solitude to help once more, uh, help us once more. I am weary of putting all the details in print. Please come see me at the Blue Palace of Sicily, Folk Fiber. I always find that he has a really odd last name, considering um, he doesn't really have much of a beard and it's not on fire. And besides, who calls their child Folk? What kind of name is that? Do they just run out of names or just decide to call him Folk? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. This is. He's just got a weird name. A lot of the NPCs in this game have weird names. Maybe some other time. <coughs> I'm busy. <coughs> uh, and I got the hiccups too. Brothers and sisters of the circle. Today, we welcome a new soul to our mortal fold. This woman has endured, has challenged, and has shown her valor. Who will speak for her? I stand witness to the courage of the soul before us. Would you raise your shield in her defense? I would stand at her back that the world might never overtake us. And would you raise your sword in her honor? It stands ready to meet the blood of her foes. And would you raise a mug in her name? I would lead the song of triumph as our mead hall reveled in her stories. Then the judgment of this circle is complete. Her heart beats with fury and courage that have united the companions since the days of the distant green summers. Let it beat with ours the mountains may echo, and our enemies may tremble at the call. It, it shall, shall be so. so. Well, girl, you're one of us now. I trust you won't disappoint. Uh, is it true the companions are werewolves? I see you've been allowed to know some secrets before your appointed time. No matter. Yes, it's true. Not every companion, though. Only members of the Circle all share the blood of the beast. Some take to it more than others. What about you? Well, I grow old. My mind turns towards the horizon, to Sovngarde. I worry that Shore won't call an animal to glory as he would a true Nord warrior. Living as beasts draws our souls closer to the Daedric Lord here seen. Some may prefer an eternity in his hunting grounds, but 
but I crave the fellowship of Sovngarde. You're looking to cure yourself? Yes, but it's no easy matter. But you don't need to share the worries of an old warrior. This day is to rejoice in your bravery. And speak to Yorland if you want a better weapon than whatever that is. That's an Albany blade. Oh, okay. The Albany sword is actually much better than the Skyforge weaponry. Sorry. <laughs> it's actually one of the best. I mean, I think that the Monarch stuff is better, but. Now, before I go further into the campaign storyline. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to Solitude to see Folk Fire. To do the second part of uh, that quest with uh, the Wolf Queen. First, I'm going to see if she has any Albany ingots now. You're someone who... Mm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit That would be nice. I would like to sharpen my blade. No, she does not. Okay. That's fine. Don't forget to check inside the shop. I would like to sharpen my sword, but I can't seem to find any Albany. I'll come across it eventually, but... And before I head off anywhere, I've got a few things I want to drop off. There's nothing that's weighing me down too much, but it's just I figure I'd wipe my hair or just so drop it off. see if I can actually disenchant these two. If not, I can put this in... Well, actually, you know what? While I'm thinking about it, I'm going to pick up the books and uh, the ingredients, so that way I can put the books on the bookshelf and the ingredients inside the uh, alchemy's satchel. Why it's crossed my mind. the right thing. So this right here, this ore, this green ore here, that's for glass. Anything that's glass, armors, weapons. And this is for elven. For elven stuff. And then of course this is for orca stuff. for silver stuff, uh, yada, 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 you get the point. What did I put the treasure map in there? I'm not supposed to do that. I'm supposed to hang on to those, so that way I can buy the treasure.
don't know why I put the treasure map in there. Long That's life to you, a silly move on my behalf. the treasure if I don't have the map. Now the only books I actually put on the bookshelf are actual books. There's little notebooks and pieces of paper I usually put in the chest. Funny, this top shelf could only have 11 books, but the bottom shelf could have 11 books. I uh, was pretty certain it said 12 at one point, but I guess I just saw wrong. <laughs> My mistake, I guess. And this, this rabbit's leg. This rabbit leg thing always falls off the shelf. I don't know why, but it does. It does. But anyway, I'm gonna go to the uh, Kitty Chapter of uh, Dragon's Reach to see if I actually have those enchantments because I don't remember if I do. Seen in the company of the companions. That's an honorable path you're on, friend. The funny thing is, is when you get the letter from Folk, it, you don't get a quest from it. At least it doesn't, it's, it doesn't pop up as a quest. It's still a quest, but it doesn't like uh, show up on your miscellaneous. It's like one of those unmarked quests that games like this sometimes have. smile on you. Oh shoot, I didn't want to disenchant that one. The one that gave me a health boost. Ah crap. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the I'm gonna reload because I didn't mean to disenchant the one that gave me a health boost. I was I was just came here for the shield and the other necklace. I hate it when I do something I don't want. I hit, I didn't want to do. Divine smile on you, friend. Maybe I should have looked before I leaped. It looks like I already have the enchantment for the magic of damage. And I also have the enchantment for uh, making potions better. But I don't have these two. 
uh, but I'm not gonna disinsert anything because not only does this have a magical resistance on it, which is for all types of magic, not just one specific one, but it's also better than the shield that I'm actually using. It weighs only one more and it protects 31. But seven ball? I don't. I'm not in the mood for doing the math. So I'm not gonna disenchant anything. Especially the necklace that gives me a health boost. The one that the, for the potions, yeah, I could have disenchanted that, no problem. But. That one apparently already had that enchantment, so. So I'm gonna sell my old shield and the bow to uh, the lady who owns the um, blacksmith. What time is it? Seven o'clock. Well, I don't have to see him because I already have a better sword, but uh, I'll do it anyway. A free weapon. <laughs> what's, what's, you say no to that? A lot of steel to shape. Uh, it's quite a forge you've got here. The Sky Forge? I, my clan fathers, have worked it since the first Grey Mains came to White Run. Sky Forge steel is all the companions will use for good reason. Uh, I've already asked that stuff. Uh, I was told you would have a weapon for me. Yes, lad. You've been raised into the companions, I hear. I can fashion whatever kind of weapon you want. Finest forge in Skyrim, right here before you. Let's see, I get a sword, a dagger, a battle axe, a great sword, or a war axe. I'm actually going to... I want to give it to Lydia. Because I don't actually need it, because I got an Albany sword. Yeah, I'll take the war axe and I'll just give it to Lydia. Now that's a smart weapon. Light, strong, useful. Crack some skulls for me. <laughs> hmm? Gods be praised. Now, I'm not going to to sell the uh, this one right here because that is not mine. It belongs, technically belongs to Fergus and I'm gonna be able to give it back to him later once the companion's storyline's over. Now I won't be using any type of elven armor because I, I don't like it. I'll use the weapons and maybe use the, the boots and the gauntlets, but that's it. I'm not going to use the armor itself or the helmet because they look really ridiculous. Anyway, I'm going to drop off these two weapons at home and then I'm going to head out to Tarji. Rory stands a nice enough to do hammer with a boring poster for a god. If a dragon attacks, well, then it would be a story. Which I don't know why I didn't drop off these weapons while I was at the house. I just forgot about it. <laughs> I forgot about Fergus's sword for a moment. 
Yeah, I told you I would forget the bolt. <laughs> I need to drop off before I leave. I don't think so. I just want to make sure. No, uh, I don't know if it's not or not. Put it over my, by my potion making stuff, but I can put it on when I go to make potions. Uh, one thing you, I should let you guys know about this upcoming quest that I'm about to do for Folk Firebird is that you can't bring anyone with you. Now, as far as I know, the only person that is not affected, because apparently at the end of the quest, or towards the end of the quest, Pamela, or whatever her name is, the Wolf Queen somehow manages to possess or brainwash your companion and to attacking you and you're forced to kill them Patina, that's her name. I noticed there was a P, I just forgot for a second. But yeah, you're forced to kill them. So that's why you don't want to bring anyone with you. However, there is one companion that is not affected by her possession. And that is the companion you get for the Dog Art DLC. But as far as I know, she's the only one that not get possessed. I can take you to unit. Where do you want to go? So, if you have a companion with you, make sure you tell them to wait somewhere. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Before you go off to face off with the wolf queen. Solitude's a big port town. Full of sailors and their tales of faraway land. Or just go in alone. Period. Because unless you want your companion to be possessed and turned against you, uh, that would not be a good thing. <laughs> I don't know if it works with dogs though. I know it works with people, but not dogs. I don't know. I never brought a dog in now, so I don't know. 